Hey there, welcome to January's mid-month channeled energy message. My guides woke me up bright and early at 3.33 today. Have you been seeing repeating numbers or symbols yourself? So I laid there and connected with spirit, wondering, you know, what they had to say for you. And I'm assuming that they had a message for you. And then again, at 4.44, I opened my eyes and there was the time. So spirits just flashing numbers and, and messages all over the place. And I got the sense that this was the time to, to get this. This was the message that they had for you. And spirit showed me um, the picture of a duck that was waddling along the ground and how difficult it was to move along the ground. And this duck looked a little bit confused and forlorn and, and frustrated and kind of going around in circles trying to find the pond. Couldn't find the pond. And you know, it was looking behind it to see if, see what was going on with its nest of eggs. And noticed that the duck find its way over to the pond. So in looking at this energy and looking at this message, Spirit was saying to me that many of you have laid your eggs, have, have created these manifestations and you're waiting for them to hatch. Some of you have left prematurely and gotten frustrated that things aren't happening fast enough for you. And others of you are frustrated going around in circles trying to make it happen. And it's not happening in your time frame, or, or maybe you've forgotten about it or you've gotten distracted of what you really wanted and what your heart of hearts has created. And some of you have made it down to the pond and you're flapping away and paddling away and, and, and you're like a boat with no oars. You're just going around and, and you're happy. You're happy in that new space because you're in the flow or you're in an element that takes a whole lot less effort. So it feels as though many of us have been on the path or getting into the flow and there's various phases of our development and where we're going with this with this development. So in, in looking at this a little bit deeper, Spirit is saying to me, there's a lot of you that are getting ready to stretch. You don't quite trust your land legs. You don't feel comfortable in that element and it is hard work and it has been frustrating and it's been a whole lot of hard work. So Spirit is saying that in order for you to get to the pond, you've got to stretch a little bit. And perhaps you need to go back and sit on the nest for a little bit longer. Um, but you are looking for those, those eggs are ready to hatch. However, you've got to get over to the pond and get into your flow. It's not about trying to make things fast, happen faster for yourself. And then Spirit showed me a little bit how I was reorganizing myself with my painting and my artwork and reorganizing my kitchen so I had more space to store paints. And, and it dawned on me that I had a step ladder in the other room and I had a whole shelf in my kitchen that I wasn't utilizing. And so I got the idea that to go get the step ladder, bring it into the kitchen and find a spot for it there and it's a very tiny space. So I found that I could create space for this new little step ladder. And all of a sudden, when I climbed the steps, I had a whole new perspective of new storage space that I could rearrange some things and utilize that and make things so much easier for myself. But I was amused with the metaphor because I'm like, okay, where is it? I've had this cupboard available to me for four years and didn't see it right in front of me. I didn't see the opportunity of that barren space that was looking for me to enjoy or to utilize or make my life a little easier. So I had to laugh at myself because now with a stepladder, easy reach, I could have a new perspective. I could see things differently. I could rearrange things that made everything flow so much easier. And then I was amused with my little trip to Walmart where I picked up this brand new measuring cup. It's a big measuring cup. And I looked at it and it said four and a half cups. And I thought to myself, well, that's the same size I have at home. But somehow I was measuring or using that measuring cup. I thought it said two cups. So the recipes I was making for two cups was actually filling it in that four cup so stretching it, <laughs> I should say, making a whole lot more than I thought I was. Now, I thought that was so amusing because I'm a pretty good cook and I've used measuring cups my whole life. So I thought it was very funny how I could have sworn 
that was a two cupper but yet it really is four and a half cups <laughs> so you cooks out there I'm sure you're laughing with me but anybody who does recipes or follows the recipe and, and all of a sudden things are just not working out for you man that is a classic trick to self right so after I got over that and 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 kind of kept shaking my head and just thinking how is that possible that I missed that um, there's a lot of other areas in our life where this is being translated and how we're being affected, how our perception of things is completely screwed up or skewed. So think about in your own life, you know, how you're viewing your relationships or perhaps how you've been looking at some issue with your health or your career and how you've perceived yourself maybe in a certain role. It's all of a sudden flipping. You know, I had a client that you know, I've been working with on a regular basis and all of a sudden she's seeing her role in work shifting. She doesn't like how she's been always the one finding the solution and answers for everybody. That gets tiring after a while. I had another client freaking out because she lost her ring and she called me the other day panicking and you know, I had to ground her, ground the situation and ground the energy clear the energy and the connection between her and her lost ring and the energy of I'm never going to find it I'm never going to find it that frenzy of not being able to get your answer so once I cleared the energy and she went back to the the last spot she was there was the ring of course that seems like common sense doesn't it but she was so wound up looking in the car and looking everywhere that she she was getting all muddled up and that's the sense of where the duck was going around and round in circles and not being able to get his answers or not being able to see the pond that was right next to him. And I found this fascinating because here in the card that I've pulled for us today, um, for this message from my Soul Wisdom card, you know, the very, very first thing that got my attention was the cup, the glass of wine. Looks like there's a celebration ahead with some dessert, you know, the sweet treat after we um, do what we need to do here. Um, you know, in the cup, you can see a reflection at the back of the glass. And it's like, am I looking at my past or am I moving into the future? Am I seeing the future? So it's perhaps, again, a change of perspective because looking through the glass, I have a whole different perspective on the environment than I do um, otherwise. And you know, the animals are all lining up to board the ark. So two by two, male and female, one of each kind. And what my sense is spirit is telling us to get into alignment, balancing this male and female energy. As we stay grounded, as we stay focused, as we get on the path, as the world around us is making some changes, radical, drastic changes, and we're seeing our earth of the planet shifting weather patterns radically um, you know big shocking changes and perhaps we're getting onto a path and the world around us is changing so much as we get onto this vehicle or boat or arc we're getting into a new pattern or taking ourselves into a whole new dimension perhaps the lay of the land is going to look a whole lot different so as you see this very confident female standing with her hand on her hip and you know she's got her tennis shoes on her running shoes she is poised and ready to take the steps she is ready to take action she is ready to take on and be on this path you see a new ve a vehicle coming in behind her perhaps it's a whole new vehicle taking you on a new path perhaps you know it is taking you on a new in a new direction and perhaps you need a new way of getting there perhaps there's new tools perhaps it's a new modality perhaps it's a new diet and the biblical story of Noah and the ark tell, talks about a cleansing and so we are in a process of purging of letting go of patterns I've been talking about this for the last several months I've been talking about relationships ending or shifting your your desires and your interests changing perhaps a career change happening um, so, and I really encourage you to, uh, speaking of previous months, to go back to November or December and listen to those messages. 
I've spoken to several of you who have mentioned how re-listening to it was exactly everything that they were experiencing in their life. So everybody's going to be different, of course, uh, and we're on different cycles and at different rhythms. So go back and listen to that. I think it'll be really helpful for you to gain a new perspective of where we're at. And Spirit Guides showed me a painting that I just finished that I wanted to share with you. And so this is an interesting um, also perspective of, of the message you're trying to give us. It's a three-part painting. And of course, it's water and waves and being in the flow. And all I see is water and sky. It's a bright white horizon. Um, but the waves are a bit choppy. There is some turbulence. And Spirit is saying, you know, there's the three panels. Could it be the past, present, and future? Could it be aspects to ourselves that we're letting go of, that, that we're stepping into, or the aspects that we're leaving behind and new parts of us moving in? Is it the whole process of being fluid and letting go of our resistance so that we can attract and manifest what it is that we truly desire? Some of you are feeling restricted or feeling some resistance, and that could feel like the choppiness or the up and the down and the whoa coming down is quite a queasy feeling. And so that's the energy that Spirit is inviting us to clear, to release, to ground, you know, using your quantum energy tools to clear and have energy clearings. You know, in the past 20 years, there probably hasn't been a month where I did not personally have a clearing. And that's the only way to stay grounded in all of this turbulent, topsy-turvy energy with all the changes around us. And it is escalating. There's no question about that. But in the rise and the fall and the movement of this, there's a lot of excitement. There's a lot of beautiful surprises and wonderful, bright horizons ahead of us. You know, there's new aspects to you. There's a whole new expression of yourself. There's this new, bright, incredible white light that's coming through that wants to help refine this lower vibration that we've all been carting around. And in order to have more of this beautiful intrinsic light, all that you are, these, this incredible, scintillating, illuminant light and love that you are, you've got to release the resistances and the burdens in these foreign energies. And it's just that. It's energy. So I hope you'll join me with the quantum energy tools. You can check my store in the link below down in the description for you to get your own personal energy clearing and so that you can raise to the next step so that you can allow yourself to receive this abundance that wants to come in. You know, the oceans are so powerful and this water and this metaphor of this painting tells me that being in the flow and inviting the power of the universe and this flow into your life to be able to receive it and to be in it is where the true power comes for manifesting, for abundance, for creating any, anything that you desire in your life. So with that, Spirit says, have a magical month of January and remind us to stay in the flow and be all that you can be. I'll talk to you real soon. See you on my next video. Remember the first time when I came to you, you said that you wanted to give me a book about busting the money game. Then you were saying that money is not a back of my mind. I was saying that, Amira, stop saying this. I, I mean, like, I know all this, but I really require money and things like that. But then after this, <laughs> I'm being honest. But then after the second session, I actually learned that I felt the diffuse of the money energy that I was holding on to. It's like, I don't actually require money. That's where I attracted so many things in my life. Like, I, I always want and I, a new iPod touch I thought that okay I'm not going to pay for it and I'm going to attract it and then automatically it comes to me there's so many other things a lot of res more respect more trust from people who would hardly trust any other energy workers so they started trusting me more calm I'm like yeah what the hell life is like this I've actually felt detached and if, at this point if I don't have money I don't panic I'm like a okay and that's where I see things are happening good things are actually happening from the bottom of my heart thank you so much this is absolutely amazing.